Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible that I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 22. Have you ever heard the phrase unequally yoked? Have you ever wondered what it meant? Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 10 is the beginning point of this conversation in the Bible. You shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. A yoke is an agricultural device used to combine multiple animals in the working of the fields. While it is no longer a common sight in most modern day farming, Seeing animals yoked together would have been a six day per week reality for the ancient people of God's word. The command to not yoke two unequal animals was given to protect both animals from hurting one another, but to especially protect the weaker of the two. The unequally yoked relationship is not only a dangerous partnership, but also an unproductive union. Just as the animals would not work together for the common reason they were yoked, unequally yoked people spend most of their time fighting against the yoke that seeks to bind them together, rather than working in harmony for the reason they were brought in union. Check out 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Jesus invites all who would follow him to come into his yoke in Matthew 11, verses 29 to 30. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We are to learn from Jesus and become like him in union with him in his yoke. The yoke of Jesus is what transforms us into his image and unites us to his mission. His yoke is custom made so that you do not suffer under his teachings and his commandments. His yoke unites us with one another as the one body of Christ and empowers our life together. All other yokes cause suffering and lead to divisions between people. Seize the moment and find rest for your soul and partnership with fellow believers in the easy yoke of Jesus Christ. Seize the moment.